All right, there, guys. So obviously it's midday. Well, it's past midday now uh, on the deadline day for the uh, Premier League, and we've got what ten hours left of the window. I think. I think it shuts at like eleven o'clock. So I thought I'd do some sort of midday update. So we know that Graven Birch is having his medical. It might be done by now. Um, the club obviously doing all the finer details for the paperwork and everything for it to get it done and announced. I've got a theory on this that the longer that the club sit on this to announce it to happen, or it's happened, sorry, potentially makes it seem less likely that we're going to sign somebody else. Because you'd feel like if they did this pretty quick, then it might be a case of, all oh, right, well, that's the first one. Like, what's happening for the rest of the day? Do you know what I mean? So let's wait and see what happens there. My money on the longer we hear nothing on any some sort of confirmation on us signing Graven Birch is not good news on us signing somebody else, but I could be wrong. Mo Salah. So David Ornstein in the last half an hour has announced basically that Liverpool rejected a verbal offer from the Saudi Pro League to sign Salah. Uh, it was worth £100 million up front plus substantial add-ons and was given no consideration and turned down immediately. It was an approach made on behalf of Al Etihad during an amicable call to Liverpool Sporting Director Mike Gordon on Thursday night. So that key bit there, first part of that, I feel like that's kind of showing where Ornstein gets his news from in regard to Liverpool. I think that shows that he's kind of more close to the ownership of the club rather than the people that are actually running the club, right? Uh, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, even though Mike Gordon kind of is. The fact as well, it was mentioned that this bid was rejected Thursday night. But Klopp's just done a press conference and said that he's heard nothing about a, a bid and basically he wouldn't be surprised if a bid had gone in and he wouldn't know anything about it anyway because Klopp's not really kept in the loop by the sounds of it. Klopp's own words, not mine, don't rip me head off. That's what Klopp said in the press conference today. Didn't say them exact words, but it was something along them lines. Do you know what I mean? So don't like cat plots me to death. Um. The Anfield club, however, reiterated that the 31-year-old is not for sale and considered the case closed. I interpret it that as offer more money. That's how I take that, guys, because the next line is, that view is not shared by the Saudis, though, who are expected to maintain a strong interest. So basically, they're going to come back with another bid, guys. Now, I am of the theory, and I know that a lot of people that are going to comment down below are not going to like this, that if they came back with 150 million straight up front, anything plus that, then Salah's been sold, guys. <laughs> it's this case of that, like, you've got a 31-year-old, you know, he signed a three-year deal last year, so he's only got, like, two years left on it, so when it comes to next summer, he would only have one year left on his contract. He's on 350 grand a week, which you think, you know, FSG would love to get that off the wage bill, especially after all the money they've, well, the money that they've spent this summer. And I know that sounds like I've got an agenda against FSG, and I do a little bit. I do. Like, there's players we've missed out on over the years where we could have got it, but just, you know, we had to do this, that, and the other. We've seen players that we've been linked with this summer go elsewhere. Um, and it's just, it's a madness, guys. It really is. But anyway... Mark my words, guys. If Saudi come back with a hundred and fifty million plus upfront payment, no add-ons, straight cash, Mo Salah's gone, one hundred percent. Now, you might be saying to yourself, "Well, why would he be gone? He could turn the move down." This Saudi club or the Saudi Pro League are getting encouragement from somebody to do this, right? Is it Sal? Is it Salah's agent? who represents Salah, who we know has messed the club about in the past when it came to a new deal. We've seen Salah flirting with the Barcelonas and the Real Madrid during COVID time. I'm of the opinion, guys, that if if COVID had not happened, we'd have sold Salah years ago to Real Madrid or Barcelona. He'd have been gone a long time ago, right? So, yeah, um, mark my words, guys. If they, if they offer that type of money, it would be on Salah to reject the move. And we've seen someone do that this summer. This club that Salah could potentially join offered three hundred million for Mbappe, you know, to PSG. PSG accepted it. Mbappe turned the move down, right? So at the end of the day, guys, as mad as we're all gonna get with FSG if Salah's sold for whatever fee it is, yeah, Salah agreed to go. He could turn the move down if he really wanted to stay, right? 
So again, I've just bashed FSG, but I'm gonna defend FSG at the same time. If Salah goes, he wanted to go. He's not being forced out of the club. He wanted the move. Mbappe turned the move down. Would Salah do the same thing? I'm not too sure. Anyway, guys, let's see what happens throughout the rest of the day. I do think we've kind of hit key hours now. Like, if we don't hear anything within the next... I was saying till about 3pm, but maybe... If we don't hear anything between now and 5, 6 o'clock at night, then I would say that we're not signing anybody else. So, yeah. That's that, guys. I hope you've liked the video. Put a comment down below if you have. Uh, like the video if you have. And if you are new here, subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with everything I'm doing. And I'll catch you in the next one.